Hi there, this is Allison with Let's Go Travel Tips and today is Thursday, it's March 23rd of 2023. We are here in the Atlanta airport, so we flew from Salt Lake here to Atlanta and in a couple of hours we are getting on our flight that's a non-stop to Munich, Germany. We are so excited, of course. Tomorrow morning we land at 9 o'clock in the morning Munich time. So we've got a whole day of sightseeing li lined up. So I'll tell you what we're going to do in Munich and then about heading down to the ship on the Danube River. So first of all, like I said, we land at 9. So we have a reservation at a hotel. So we're going to go over, drop off our luggage there, and then head out sightseeing. If you have not been to Europe before, the very best way to battle the time change and trying to get over on the time because it's so many hours different is really that when you land, you stay awake and go to bed as close to bedtime as you can. I always end up going to bed a little bit earlier than I would have at home, but um, try to do your best to stay up and the best way is to be out there doing things. So once we drop off our luggage, we're going to head over to the Nymphenburg Palace. We're really excited to see that. Um, right close by there, there's a place that when we're done there, we're going to eat. Our daughter told us about, so we will show you that. Um, but anyway, so we're going to do that and to get out there to the Nymphenburg Palace. Um, our hotel is very central there in Munich. It's not that far, but there's a bus that goes and there is also like their um, train system there that goes. And so we're just going to see what time it is and decide what to do about that. And then we also want to go visit the Glyptotech there in Munich that has, it's smaller I think than I've been to the Glyptotech there in Copenhagen before. This seems like it's a little bit smaller perhaps, but it has a good collection, so we're going to go see that art. And then there's a place called the Alta, I'm probably not saying it right, A-L-T-E, and then Pinotech. So, um, Pinotech, it's like the Pinotech at the Vatican, <laughs> is where all the, like a bunch of paintings are. So we're going to go see that. They have a very nice collection of um, European art as well, so we're going to see that. Then we are going to head over to um, Marienplatz, if I'm saying that right. It's very central there. It's where some of the government buildings are. But there are also a lot of churches that are very close um, to that area. So we want to visit those. And so that's what we're going to do later in the afternoon and into the evening a little bit. We're going to have some um, yummy pastries at some places. We're going to have some delicious dinner. We're um, looking forward to seeing Munich. And then on Saturday morning, we get up and we have to be, our transfer goes from the Sofitel, S-O-F-I-T-E-L hotel there in Munich. And so we need to be there by 8.30 at the very latest. So we are planning to be there early, of course, uh, to get the transfer just down to the ship there and pass out. And then um, I can update you more as the trip goes, but when we get there, we're going to go ahead and put our things on the ship and head off. There's an excursion that we have signed up for with the ship that will take us on a walking tour of Passau. So we're really looking forward to having some time to look around. It is supposed to rain a lot, but hopefully it won't be raining the whole time, especially when we're out trying to walk around and sightsee. And if it is, we brought our umbrellas, <laughs> so we'll be all right. But we are really excited and I'm really excited to show you about it. It looks from the schedule of events like we don't sail until really late on Saturday night. So I will, um, if we can go live earlier in the evening, if we've got a minute or in the afternoon, we will sure do that. I know that with the time change, it's going to be hard to check. So join, um, to, hard to check, hard to keep, um, maybe if you'll be asleep when we're able to do it. So keep an eye out for any of our lives. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. And if you hit that little notification bell that's next to the subscribe button, then you will get a notification on your phone, depending if you have notifications turned on for YouTube on your phone, or an email every time we put a video up. So that will help you stay up to date so you don't miss anything. So um, I'm really hoping that we can kind of show you the room because they're so different than, um, and the view is different than what you would expect and what we are accustomed to on a river cruise. So I am so excited to take you all with us. So I hope that you can come and you'll join us. Think of your questions, put them in the comments and um, we'll have a lovely time together. Then also I wanted to let you know, I appreciate our Let's Go family member. You know, we often think, as I just mentioned, trying to adjust to the time if you fly from, for example, from the United States over to Europe, or if you're coming this other direction, there's a huge time change. Well, our Let's Go family member, Joe, mentioned that he and his wife are on the Sky Princess right now, 
coming across and he was saying that and that's just isn't that a luxurious way to travel on a transatlantic um so much more civilized than such a long flight but um anyway i love that he was saying you know when you do that you usually set your clocks forward an hour every day or you know very often during you know depending on the length of the cruise but he was saying that instead of doing it at night time on this cruise they are doing it at noon which is really nice it works out really good it's a good time of day to do that you don't go to bed wondering if your clock's going to adjust or your phone or whatever and at the same time i think he pointed out that it's easier on the crew because it helps um, them get catch their um, move forward an extra hour during the time that they are working rather than just losing more sleep so i think that's just lovely the other update that i have for you and we do need to talk about this more and it might seem like trivial but in the end i think it's a big deal to a lot of us we have been talking about the glitches that seem to be occurring with people having the plus package or the premier package quite frankly and still having to pay for that medallion shipping so if you're not familiar princess used to always ship the medallions for free but now they charge ten dollars per stateroom to ship that for you if you don't have the plus or the premier package the problem that is occurring is when people do have that plus or premier package and then they still have to pay for the ten dollars to get that shipped I was um, had the lovely opportunity to speak with one of our Let's Go family members earlier today, and they are going on a cruise that for the first cruise they booked it, sorry, the second cruise, they, I can't remember if it's the first or second. <laughs> anyway, they booked it a long time ago with the old Princess Plus package. Then they booked the next one, the back-to-back -back there, with the new Princess Plus package. And so on the different travel summaries, it lists very specifically on that old one that they paid the $50 a day for, it includes what used to be included in the Princess Plus package. And then on that new one that they are paying the $60 a day, it is listing everything, all the new perks. And so when they called to say, um, and you only get one medallion when you do a back-to-back -back like that, and so they really should have received it for free. And so, but they had to pay the $10 to get it shipped to them. So in calling Princess, they said, well, go to customer service when you board the ship and you should get your $10 back. Some people are reporting they're not getting their $10 back at customer service. So um, let's kind of help each other stay up to date with this. I know that's kind of hard, um, but um, I think it's worthwhile to help us all know what's going on and if we find out a good way around it and to get our money back to be able to do that. I know it's just $10. I know in a way that you think, oh, that's not much. But in the end, it's the point. <laughs> ten dollars is ten dollars, but it also is the point of the thing. And so let me know and let me know what else is going on with the rest of you. If any of you happen to be on a ship, on a cruise ship, or you have recently been on a ship, I would love to hear from you. All of us would let us know how it's going, how it went, and um, we'll all be excited together for everyone's cruise coming up. So in the comments, just put below if you have a fun cruise scheduled and where you're going to go. We'd sure like to hear from you. If you think of any questions about river cruises or anything else, put it down below. This is a great time for me to get answers for that. So put your questions so that I can find out everything everyone wants to know. It's such a pleasure to be able to visit with all of you. Like I said, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. We need you with us. And if you appreciate these updates, please give this video a thumbs up. I'll be talking to you all again really soon. You all take really good care. God bless you. Love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>